Six years ago this week, 13-year-old Jonathan Crone gave a bizarre speech at CPAC. We talked earlier this week about this year's highlights from CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference. And six years ago, it was 13-year-old Jonathan Crone who stood in front of the crowd, talked about small government conservatism and personal responsibility. And the crowd just ate it up, Lewis. And the funny thing was, even at the time, all of us were saying, wait a second, even if he's memorized these talking points, he can really only truly understand what he's saying to some extent. And he may he may not even really understand the full scope of what he's saying. And I saw an interview that he did just two years ago around CPAC on CNN. And he said, you know what? I had just heard stuff from people growing up in Georgia. And I said it, but my views are actually different. I'm pretty liberal. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he came out and said uh, to admitted to the public that he has liberal ideas, although he doesn't call himself a Democrat. Right. Uh, and he said he would support Obama in the election. Of course, at the time, if he were old enough to vote, I think he was 17. And uh, yeah, really interesting story. You know, all the Republicans thought that, like, look, even if a 13 year old can understand this, it must be common sense. Uh, this must be the truth. Well. I guess not in that interview a couple years ago where he he revealed actually I, I would support Obama if I were old enough to vote. He talked to the CNN anchor. I forget exactly who it was, maybe Suzanne Malvo, about how he was going to NYU, which, of course, has this reputation of being like this super liberal, higher insti higher uh, learning institution and blah, blah, blah. And many Republicans in this country already think that higher education in general is liberal indoctrination. Rick Santorum has said it. Rick Santorum has said that the they will never have the smart people on their side, um, unintentionally funny. And as I was seeing Jonathan Crone say all this stuff, I was just thinking to myself, oh, the, the conservatives are going to have a field day with them. And they did tons of right wing uh, online blogs and newspapers and magazines just eviscerating the kid. Yeah, well, let's think about this critically. I mean, where where did the brainwashing happen? Did it happen uh, from his, his parents and surroundings living in extremely conservative area of Georgia? Or did it happen when he got to college and started learning things? Yeah. Is the indoctrination the fact that a thinking institution made him question? And again, he already changed his views before even going to NYU. But let's assume it continued at NYU. Did the did the the learning to think indoctrinate him because he no longer believed what he was told as a little kid in rural conservative Georgia? Or was it rural conservative Georgia with no exposure to anything else that indoctrinated him? It's very funny. It is. It's an interesting story. And maybe we should try to get him on the program. We've tried, actually. I I've, the only thing I found was his Twitter and we tweeted to him a couple times. But unfortunately, he never got back to us. But I'd be interested to talk to him. I don't know that he he's doing that much political stuff right now uh, anyway.